as youngsters, when we wanted to swear, we were swear by what? I swear on my mom's life, right? Huh? Just about, just about every single one of us would say, I swear on my mom's life. I swear down, I swear up, and I swear on my granddad's grave, and my granddad's nun, and whatever, and... You know what the Messiah said? Man halafa bighayri life ghal ashraq. Whoever swears by Abu Dhanlah has fallen into shirk. We know there's mine in shirk, we know there's nine shirk. Do you know, brothers, there is one sin that if you die upon it, Allah is not going to forgive it. What is that one sin? Let me ask you guys a question. If one now commits zina with his mother, with his mother, huh? and then he ends up killing her, and then he buries her alive, and not buries her, he ends up burying her. But he had a tawheed. He had a tawheed. Committed zina with his mother, ended up killing her, and then he buried her with his own hands. Which one is worth? This one or the one who really looked after his mother? He was dutiful to her. Huh? He would maybe even wash her feet every single night. But then he just called on to the Messenger and said, Oh Messenger of Allah, remove my difficulties. And then he died upon that. Which one is worse? Shirk. The first or the second? Shirk. Second. Because he died upon shirk and Allah says in the Quran, Inna Allah la yaghfiru an yushraka bihi wa yaghfiru ma duna dhalik. Allah forgives everything. Huh? Allah forgives everything. Meaning if you were to die upon it, except if you were to die upon shirk. You die upon shirk, you're never coming out of the hellfire. Forever and ever you're going to abide there. If you like the look of that video and would like to experience something similar for yourself on one of our next Umrah trips, whether you're a brother or a sister, contact the number on the screen and inshallah you can join our next Umrah trip.